Hey, my name is Veronica, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to prepare a product for personalization using new products section in Customers Canvas. Note that before proceeding with this step, you should have the e-commerce integration set up and the necessary assets prepared. Today, we're going to configure stickers as an example. Let's look at this product in the real Shopify storefront. For the sticker, we will add the ability to select the shape and paper stock. What if I tell you that the setup time for this product is minimal? Let's start our journey by opening the Customer's Canvas admin panel. Navigate to the product section where you'll find the list of all products. You can create products by uploading CSV files, which is convenient if your products have many options and variants. But for this tutorial, we will use the interface. Click the Create New button. In the General tab, fill in the name and description, then select the personalization workflow and the processing pipeline. A workflow defines the personalization interface of your storefront, and a pipeline specifies how a print-ready file is generated. Let's choose the default for now. We can change it later. Once we've set up general product information, let's proceed with the Options tab. These options define the features and properties of a product. To create a new option, click Manage Options and then Add Option. Fill in the option name. For our sticker, it is the shape. And add the option values. The second option is paper stock. You can change the order of the options and their values to define their position in the editor interface. Once we finish with our options, we'll click save and move on. Each product option and value can have metadata associated with it. This is extremely helpful for customizing the interface of the editor. We can add descriptions, hints, illustrate values with images or color codes. Let's do this for the shape option. Click Edit and fill in the data. We've already prepared the thumbnails, so let's add them to the corresponding values. The Appearance tab allows you to specify how the option values are displayed in the editor interface. Let's choose the image grid and click Save. You can change it later if you don't like the way it looks in the editor. Let's go to the Designs tab. In the new product management process, we have added the concept of design option. You can select which product options affect the product design. For stickers, it will be the shape. And for other products like business cards or brochures, it could be the size, fold type or orientation. Not every option that affects the final product's appearance necessarily affects the design. That's why we can also define the mock-up option. For our stickers, it's the shape as well. But for other products, it might be the product color, material, texture, etc. Let's consider the concept of design and mock-up options on the example of the wedding invitation. The product has a trim option. The option doesn't affect the product design, but it affects the mockups. So you need to create a corresponding editor mockup file for each value on the trim option. Once we've selected our design and mockup options, we're ready to bind our assets to these options. Click Save and go to the Design section of the admin panel. If your product designs contain text elements, make sure to upload the required fonts in the font section. Now we need to create a new folder for our sticker designs and upload the files. 
There are several ways to create design templates, including uploading Adobe InDesign or Photoshop files, or creating a new template in our system. Then go to the mockups section and upload the product mockups. Just drag and drop the files. Now we are ready to connect the assets to the product options. To do so, navigate to the product section, find our product, click the ellipses and then select asset connections. Let's start with the designs. Click add file, find the product folder and select all the designs that we uploaded a few moments ago. To set the connection, click the option and select the option value that corresponds to the design. Click Apply and repeat for other designs. In the case when the option value corresponds to more than one design, we can perform group editing. As an example, let's consider another product, such as a brochure. Select some designs, click the Edit button, select values for these designs, and then click Apply. Here we've applied the Fold option and the Tri-Fold value to three designs. Let's go back to sticker editing and start connecting the mockups to the product in the mockups tab. Add the files in the same way that we've done for the designs. Since all our mockups will be used for previewing, we can apply this type for an entire group. In the dialog box, select the mockup type and the required pages. Then we can specify the shape option for each mockup. All changes are saved automatically. If you want to add more designs in the future, you can do it without editing the product and connect them on the fly. With Customers Canvas, you can easily operate hundreds of designs if you have large template libraries. Now, as we're done with the asset connection, let's finish the product setup. First, let's check if our designs and mockups are connected to the product options. You can see this on the product page. Then we can move forward to connecting our product to the Shopify storefront. We've already prepared the associated product in our Shopify demo store. To create a connection with Customers Canvas, let's navigate to the Links tab and click Add Link. In the dialog box, select the storefront you need and then select the product in the storefront product list. The link name is generated automatically. The Include checkboxes allow you to define the option values which are available for personalization. For example, if some product items are out of stock, you can remove these option values and they won't be displayed in the editor interface. You can also choose which option will be displayed by default. Apply the changes. We're almost ready. After creating a product link, the Add to Cart button on our website will be replaced by the Personalize button. Now we can open the editor, but we can't add the product to the shopping cart. To make this product available for the purchase, we need to connect the product variants in the customer's canvas to the product in the Shopify store. In the e-commerce storefront, we've already added the SKU value for the product. Now let's do this in the customer's canvas admin panel. Go to the SKU tab and fill in the corresponding SKUs that match the values in the e-commerce system. Don't forget to save the changes. So, now we have a fully operational customer journey. Customers can go to the product page in the storefront, open the editor to personalize the product, and then buy it. We've implemented the WYSIWYG design editor. But what if you want to offer your clients a simpler personalization interface? As we said before, we can change the personalization workflow in the Customer's Canvas admin panel. Let's select the simple editor from the workflow list and hit save.
To view changes after editing, you can use the Customer's Canvas preview feature or open the product in the e-commerce storefront. We'll open the product page in the Shopify store. Now it has the different design editor. Let's personalize the sticker by uploading an image to the placeholder, changing its shape and selecting a paper stock. Then you can add the product to the shopping cart. It was a demonstration of how the new Customers Canvas product concept helps create appealing products with a variety of options that are easy to personalize. If you want to make products on your website customizable, feel free to reach out to us. Thank you and have a good day.